Alright, hello and welcome back to our campaign for Rome Total War 2. Um, since the last time, I think I said that I was going to move uh, some of the uh, troops from Britannia to the uh, the North African coast, and I suppose Hispania, for a little campaign to the south of Rome. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. Um, it's been about, I don't know, maybe less than 10 turns probably, but uh, definitely more than 5. Um, so I have essentially spread out our, our forces around, um, first and foremost, the uh, the Carthaginian area, as well as uh, the independent faction, one of the tribes that control little parts of uh, Hispania right now. So I have uh, three legions here, and I have, in addition, three here, um, and one back on the mainland. I'm, keeping, uh, I'm actually keeping two legions back in Britain, uh, one for the pur we're right now for the purposes of uh, just kind of making sure things are fine there and no rebellions uh, really come up. And that is, uh, well, that's kind of the uh, the scale of the, uh, the whole global uh, situation right now. Been slowly building up these provinces, as you can probably tell, I've uh, exhausted the eight 80,000 some funds I had and then um, in addition to that I've been advancing into the tech tree gaining a uh, professional soldiery Which uh, if you look notice on the side there it replaces our histadi our legionnaires and a lot of our units with these uh, different cohort units making them um, well, making the army professional, I suppose. And uh, going forward from that, I also managed to get strategic maneuvers. So uh, as soon as we ca capture Carthage, we're uh, wherever, we'll be able to build uh, roughly like five different types of military buildings, making uh, making it so that we, uh, well, we have a lot of things we can do with those uh, military buildings. And I do believe we'll be able to train out archers and some, uh, some other stuff um, when we build those buildings. So... Um, right now, what ha what, what's happening is that I, I have the majority of my forces just kind of waiting on, along the coast here. Um, for the actual battle of Carthage, I, I tried filming this once, and my, my recording pro program crashed. So, uh, we're right here right now, and currently I am building some siege equipment for, uh, for the purposes of assaulting it. And what happened um, was that I, I tried playing the battle... I tried playing the siege battle over here for Carthage, but um, you'll see that on the on the campaign map. Um, if we if we start off the battle into Carthage, my legionnaires would be were I, I kind of wanted to do an amphibious invasion of the uh, the port of Carthage, um, but it didn't work out simply because first and foremost the boats uh, don't carry very many people, and there are apparently like only two landing spots inside the Carthaginian port. So out of the like the twenty some boats or the ten some boats I had only two of them were able to land within the walls of Carthage, despite Carthage having this enormous port, which was really, really weird. And um, if you notice on the campaign map, my, my army is essentially north of the actual city. Um, when when the army kind of comes to reinforce the, the navy inside that amphibious invasion, it kind of plays out the same in that you come from the north, and what that, uh, what that kind of caused was that the northern part of the Carthaginian map is uh, is just essentially a a mountainous uh, like area. It normally uh, be unpassable, but that's where my guys showed up, making it really difficult to uh, to just kind of push forward, right? Because all my guys came um, from this like really odd position. And um, oh, let's see, blackmail. We are being blackmailed. Well, we have the money to uh, to counteract those those threats so we'll do that and um Victory for Rome! the minute i actually assault this place i, I think you'll see uh, why i said that this this battle is a little odd um when you when you do fight it so let's let's go into the battle map and let's see uh how exactly this works mm. <clears throat> huh yeah because like looking off the uh, the mini map um, preview thing. You, you'd think that you have like this huge port to uh, really invade through and I think during the uh, the Carthage uh, demo that they had, the, the preview thing that they did with uh, or Creative Assembly did, uh, you'd think that you'd be able to land a lot of ships inside Carthage but no it's it's um, it's really not that great of a map to be uh, to be frank. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, because what I what I kind of wanted to do was that I, I kind of wanted to invade it like a like a little barbarian invasion with like a whole bunch of gladiators on boats, uh, just kind of charging it, but like nothing really happened. So yeah, um, what happened was that my troop, my I deployed my sea forces right here the first time I tried to record it, and I went into the port. Um, it's it's a nice looking map for sure, but I mean it's really impractical. Uh, what happened is that you have this spot to land, and it looks like it's a lot of area, but it actually only has two slots for your boats to land. Um, these buildings completely block everything, like even the dry dock ones, they don't do anything. And uh, while Carthage does have this nice round port. Um, thing right here, but you can't actually dock inside here. The building is uh, is just a prop, right? So, um, with that said, it really makes it a um, it really makes it a bad map to play on. I'm not sure if you can demolish the buildings and land there. I mean, still, even at that, it'd be pretty damn inefficient. So anyhow, we're going to we're going to go with uh, the whole smash down the gates thing, um, just because. So what I think I'll do is that I'll grab the majority of our gladiators, put them over there, and I'll get uh, these guys with the boarding ramps to come over here. Get the general to just stand by his troops, I suppose. And uh, what I want to do is that I want the, uh, the the boarding force over here to go onto the walls immediately as soon as possible. And these guys, I just want them to get up onto the walls and start butchering uh, the enemy as soon as possible. While well, this, these guys, I'm going to uh, I'm going to wait a while and see whether or not my guys on top of the walls can open up the doors to let our troops in. Um, these gladiators should be more than a match for the archers on the wall, so I think that's a, that's a fair um, move. So yeah, even the AI isn't even using the ports um, actually inside Carthage proper. It's just so difficult to uh, to actually land inside there, especially because your navy units, the uh, the maximum size of them is, I believe, 120 units, and you can't change that. Um, so you uh, so what happened in my game was that I deployed two legionary forces of about. I'd say like 160 men uh, in total, which was barely anything, barely enough to uh, to really take over the place. Now over here, these things, are, yeah, these things I recall do block arrows, so I mean that gives our gladiators like some support, I suppose. No projectiles coming down on them so far. Yeah, these guys again, they they have great combat skills, but really low on armor and health. So I'd much rather if uh, if these things, uh, the siege equipment, take all the damage. I'm not doing too bad. Oh, we did suffer like a few casualties here. But I think they'll do. They'll manage. And we uh, we weren't able to catch up those boats, but oh well. So yeah, the majority of the guys up here should be like javelin men and stuff. No match for uh, for our guys in melee combat. So as soon as those uh oh send, starting to set my uh, my siege equipment on fire, that might be a problem. As soon as we get up there, though, it's going to uh, it's going to be a slaughter fest. Kinda disappointed that they got rid of the climbing feature. Oh no. Have that one guy over there picking up oh yeah. Just picking out people. Yeah, that's the problem with gladiators, though they they're really susceptible to uh, those skirmishers. Where's that guy going? <laughs> Sons of I think this is the uh... Oh wait no, apparently I can't zoom onto uh, that unit. 
So yeah, like I said, easy work of the uh, of the troops up here as soon as we can get up here, of course. But again, with all Total War games, as soon as you get up onto the walls, it's rather difficult to move up top here. So I think we'll, uh, I think I can shimmy my troops like across like that. But um, it's really difficult to uh, uh, like get your guys to move in the in the way that you want on top of here. Just a just a pathfinding issue, really. Okay, well if I grab these two troops and then I uh, I just give them the templated command, I think that'll do it. And I'll get these guys to come down here to butcher the uh, the slingers and the stuff over there. So yeah, I'll capture the, uh, the the capture point over here, unless uh, unless they start throwing shit at me. Or if they do, I'll uh, I'll cut them down. And we're getting close to the gate, so we might open that in uh, just a little bit. Oh, they're starting to bring some uh, some real troops in here. Okay, I think that should do for the uh, for the commands over there. And these gladiators over here, they are heavily engaged with like twice their number. So what I'm going to do is use the whip. Killing spree. Really buff up their attack power. And that should help our gladiators uh, really drive through this crowd. Well, we're driving up here, but we're not doing so well on our uh, left flank. Oh, there we go, flanking, uh, flanking gladiators. We didn't actually lose that many people in, in comparison to the enemy over here. Get these guys to advance onto uh, the troops over there, and these guys are. Yeah, they're starting to open up the gate, so that's good. Let's see if I can do the uh, camera view on those. On these guys, come on. No. Gotta control this uh, little uh, radius over here with our uh, gladiators. Oh, they only have 50 men left. That sucks. Actually, I'm not really sure if the gate is open just yet. If it isn't, we'll try to burn it down. Oh, come on, please tell me we're able to burn down this gate. Oh, in just a little bit. Okay, that's that's at least going uh, semi our way. Ready and waiting. Gladiators! Melee troops awaiting order. Auditory test of the town! We who are about to die! Your orders! It's absolutely brutal with the uh, with the gladiator charge. These guys make a mess out of these uh, Nibidian troops, and they're barely even tired too. That's the uh, that's the other thing. Okay, so we're at least tying down uh, one big group of their army right there. Oh, there we go. Finally. 
Oh no. Okay, gate damage is apparently 100 fold, so we'll we'll be able to send in our troops now. Yeah, some of them are gonna get burnt down though. Huh. Okay, well that was a fairly quick battle. Yeah, that gate was troublesome though. It uh, it keeps on putting down fire way too fast at a really fast interval. Um, so let's see the losses though. Uh, I wouldn't say that we did too bad actually. I think we do lose one squad of gladiators, but I mean we we have we have like yeah we have three squads that did more than uh 500 close to 600 kills each. Uh, on average, they would have done more than 600 kills each, so that is pretty impressive. Okay, well that is, uh, yeah, that is pretty much the defeat of these guys. As soon as we get rid of their fleet, they will be, uh, they'll be kind of dead in the water now. I'm not going to loot the place, so we'll just cap it off like that. Commander. Yeah, they did lose one squad, unfortunately. We'll get them, uh, better, better warriors, and then we'll get them, uh, plus five to morale, too. And a better commander. Ooh. We will return. Fleet Ripper. Yeah, I'm. I'm just going to uh, try to safe up our uh, our fleet like that. I'll just put them into the port, uh, right there. And I think I'll. Uh, I think I'll get a auxiliary camp somewhere right around here later on. First and foremost, switch the uh, switch the temple too. I do want to switch that around. And what else? Get rid of this place because it causes squalor, and I'll get rid of this place because we don't really need it at the moment. So re uh, we'll repurpose the city of Carthage. And right now I'm thinking, should I uh, should I bump up my tax rate? Because I I could, but I don't need to. Ready for orders. And that's the thing. They do have two navies here, which I'm uh, which I'm kind of worried about. I think I'll get our uh, I think I'll get our army to that's get on boats over here, and we'll sail them around to uh, to really push forward now over here I'm a little worried because the uh, this this uh, the, the this faction they have two uh, navies here and that's kind of going towards my lands so we I'm going to try to uh, move my my garrison forces along with them and just try to keep pace with them like that and yeah it looks like these guys are actually uh, starting to um, prepare for an invasion against me so uh, we do need to deploy more troops over there we or rather we do need battle. to get our troops um, in better deployment locations so I'm actually going to uh, shift some of my units over here here we have the Praetorian uh, line and I think I'll get them uh, a full stack and then at that point I think I'll uh, bump up the tax rate again from next to nothing to uh, slightly next to nothing yeah, because right now we're on the lowest level of taxation, so I'll bump it up to the second lowest uh, level of taxation. And that should be good. Okay. 